Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video will be about implementing a toolbar menu like this. So we can have several menu icons. And if we hold on to them, then they say add contact, for example, or favorites. And if we want to have more icons that don't fit into that toolbar, then we can click on those three points. And we get, for example, the settings, the feedback option or that we can close our app. I don't know, you can just enter any items here just as you want it. So to do that, let's go into our app folder here and RAS folder. And here we need to create a near Android resource directory, which will contain an XML file for our menu. So every time we want to create a menu, then we need to put it inside of an XML file. So let's right click on RAS, click on new, and click on Android resource directory. Then we can click on that drop down menu here and make sure to select menu. Click on OK. And as you can see, we have a new menu folder in our resource directory. If we right click on that menu folder, go to new and we can create a menu, menu resource file. Click on that. And I will name it app bar menu press enter and here we go here we need to go to our text tab to write the, uh, the actual xml code and inside of this file we specify all the menu items that belong to our app bar menu so that menu in the toolbar that i just showed you and because we want to add some icons we first need to add those icons to our drawable folder so let's right click on drawable, new, and then image asset. And then I will first add an icon for the settings. Click on clip art. Then you can search for settings. I will choose this one, click OK. And make sure to select holo dark. Click next, finish and do the same for the favorites. So I see favorites, click on the clip art, search for favorite, click OK, make sure it's uh, hollow dark here, click next and finish. And finally, we do the same for our um, add contact icon. So I see add contact, click on the clip art, and I think it's at person, yeah, here, person add. Click on that icon, click OK, hollow dark, next, and finish. All right, so now we added all the icons that we need to have in our menu. And we add an item here by starting a new tag and write item. And inside of that item tag, we can now specify an ID for that item. item. So just the same way as we would do it for any view, we need to give that item an ID to later recognize and detect clicks on that item. So enter here, add plus ID, and I will call it MI settings for the first item, which is about the settings, and MI for menu item. Then we need to specify a title for that item. So if you take a look here, then the title is either if we if that menu item is shown as an icon and if we hold on to it then the title is add contact or if there is not enough space in the toolbar here then the other menu items will be shown in that extendable menu here and here no icons are shown but instead the title is displayed so in this case settings is the title of that menu item so let's write settings for the title here. And we want to set an icon, which is IC settings. And we now have the option to show as action. So that means that we can specify whether that item should be shown as an icon or not. And we have the options to never show it as icon. So it will always be in that extendable menu here. Then we have the option to always show it as icon. 
then it's displayed like this here, like this add contact icon or that favorite icon. We can specify if room. So if there's enough room, then it will be shown as icon. And if not, then it will be shown in the extendable menu. With text is very similar to never. It will just tell Android Studio that we want to display this menu item as text. And collapse action view is not very important for us right now. This is something more advanced. And this is for our dynamic views in the menu bar. So I will just use if room here and close that tag off. And then we can copy that whole tag and paste it four times below. I will change the ID of the second item to am I add contact. Change the title to add contact, the icon to I see add contact and show us action. I will change to always so that we always see that icon for adding a contact. The third item I will set the ID to am I favorites. Change the, the title to favorite and the icon to I see favorites. And the action is also always. Then we have am I feedback. The title is give feedback. We don't have an icon here, so it will always show up in the extendable menu. And we also specify the action as never. And finally, we have am I close, close app, remove that icon here and also set show as action to never. All right, so that's everything we needed to do to define our menu in XML. Now we need to go into our main activity and actually tell our app, our activity that we want to implement that menu for the toolbar in this main activity. And to do that, we need to override function of an activity, which is called on create options menu. So that function is called when our menu is created basically. And if we override that function, then we can specify our own menu. So let's write menu inflator, which is similar to the layout inflator. Just this one is used for menus um, dot inflate. Now we need to specify the menu resource ID. So in this case, it's R dot menu. So our resource menu folder dot app bar menu. And as the menu parameter, we can just choose the parameter that is passed to our on create options menu function. So just write menu here. And instead of super on create options menu, we want to return true. That just means that we successfully inflated our own menu. So this right now is enough to actually display our toolbar menu. But what I want to show you is how we can actually detect on click events on our menu items. And for that, we need to override another function, which is on options items selected. So let's override that one and make sure to also return true here. So that just means that we clicked on an item and we handled that event. And here we get that item as a parameter on which was clicked. So we could write a when expression here. And depending on which item ID was picked, so we refer to that item and to its ID. And now we can check if that ID is equal to r.id.mi add contact, for example. So if we clicked on the add contact menu item, then we want to execute the code after that error here. And I, I just want to show a toast here. Toast.make text, pass this as context, and write you clicked on add contact, and set the length of that toast to length short. And make sure to call dot show afterwards. And then we can simply 
copy that line or you can just uh, move the carrot to that line and press Control D several times to duplicate that line. And because we have five menu items, I dupli duplicated that line five times. So make sure to implement that for each ID we have here. So MI favorites, you clicked on favorites, MI settings, you clicked on settings, close, you clicked on close. Or oh, actually for close, we could also just write finish because that closes our app. And finally, MI feedback. Yeah, feedback is missing. You clicked on feedback. So let's run our app. And as you can see, here's our menu. If we click on that add contact icon, then a toast will appear. You clicked on add contact. The same for favorites. And here our extendable menu, settings works, give feedback works. And if we want to close our app, then we click on close app. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please leave a like and comment below. Also, if there is anything I can improve on, then don't mind telling me this. That would be really helpful for me. And yeah, see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.